Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to give a corticosteroid injection for plantar fasciitis uh, or what is also commonly called the uh, policeman's heel. Plantar fasciitis can be a very painful condition but I can tell you that the patient is going to thank you for uh, this because it's actually a very simple uh, procedure to administer. Now I would normally offer to give this injection if the pain has been there for longer than two months and is not responding to oral analgesics or to foot massage. Now the area of the most pain, the site, the site of most pain usually is located about five centimeters away from the back of the heel on the sole of the foot. Now, of course, this can vary from individual to individual, so the best is to actually ask the patient where it hurts the most, uh, so you can administer your injection even more precisely. As for the injection itself, use 23 gauge needle, um, insert the needle perpendicular to the ventral surface of the calcaneus and uh, push through until you feel or encounter the periods. Now, here you have a patient. Um, rest the foot on some plastic bottle so you have free space to work with. Um, next, uh, clean the surface that you're going to inject. Uh, depending on how dirty it is, sometimes they haven't used peroxide, or have off with chlorhexidine, and sterilize with iodine. And at the same time, feel for the area of the most pain, ask the patient if it hurts. Mark that with uh, by applying gentle pressure with uh, your nail. Uh, next, uh, swap that off with alcohol. Now, be sure to swab uh, thoroughly as, um, you know, the uh, ventral, the, 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 the heel or the foot sole is not um, always the cleanest area uh, or surface you can work with. Um, now as you see here I'm, uh, inject, uh, I'm spraying lignocaine instead of uh, applying tibial block now which I find very tedious so I get away with that by giving the spray and in my 3cc syringe on top of the 1cc of trimsinolone I actually add 2cc of lignocaine that uh, should uh, uh, numb the area enough to allow me to give painless injection and uh, okay uh, so I push through until I feel, I, I feel the periost uh, push the plunger gently uh, withdraw the needle apply gentle massage and uh, then comes my band-aid plaster and uh, next I cushion uh, that off with uh, some gauze and the other thing that I also do is to actually treat this as if it were a knee, uh, 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 an ankle sprain and what I mean here is like I immobilize the joint by bandaging it. Now by immobilizing the joint, limiting the movement and giving the heel a chance to rest, you also give the opportunity for opportunity for the uh, lesion to heal. And uh, because of that, uh, my preference also goes to using self-adhesive bandage because usually I would instruct my patient to keep that uh, bandage on for the next 24 hours and uh, when he goes to sleep by using a self-adhesive bandage the risk of the bandage slipping away while he's asleep is actually minimal. Uh, observe the rule of always bandaging from the middle to the lateral and also moving from distal to proximal as that is much better for the circulation. I think that's about it and uh, thank you for watching. I hope that helps and I wish you all the best with your injection. Feel free to uh, feedback me and uh, you have a nice day. Thank you.